Peace to everybody. Back with another video. Um, this is about George Michael's sister found dead on Christmas Day. And as you can see here in the screenshot, it's George Michael when he was that young. And next to him is his sister. And I, I didn't expect for this to happen at all. And as you all know, three years ago, George Michael was found dead in his home in London. And now we got his sister... George Michael's sister, Melanie Panagato, was found dead at her home on Christmas Day. Police have said three years to the day since the singer's death, the 55-year-old hairdresser was found by her older sister, Iota, on the evening of 25 December. Yes, yeah, so George Michael's sister, Melanie, had, was found dead at her home on Christmas Day. Um, the police have said three years to the day since the singer's death. So it happened three years after George Michael had passed away at his home. Um, she was 55 years old, or I should say the 55-year-old hairdresser was found by her older sister, Yai Oda, on the evening of 25 December. The Metropolitan Police said they were called by the London Ambulance Service shortly after 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday to reports of the sudden death of a woman. Her death is not being treated as suspicious. So, yeah, so um, the Metropolitan Police did say they were called by the London Ambulance Service shortly after 7.30 p.m. that day on Wednesday. Um, to reports of the sudden death of a woman, her death is not being treated as suspicious. So, how did she die? That's one thing we need to know, is how did she die? Michael's former wham bammy Andrew Ridgely, offered his condolences on Twitter. Utterly tragic news of Mel P. Pen A. Ayoto passing. My thoughts are with her sister and father at this desperately said time. Yeah, so Andrew Ridgely, Ridgely who was part of the bandmate for Wham, he offered his condolences on Twitter. Um, an utterly tragic news of Mel passing. And he also says, my thoughts are with her sister and father at this desperately sad time. In a statement through the, their lawyer, Pan A. E. Yoto's family said, we can't confirm that very tragically. Melanie has passed away suddenly. We will simply ask that the family's privacy be respected at this time very t sad time yeah so they're asking for a privacy because they don't want no reporters or anybody around them right now so this is why they're asking for privacy right now michael was close to his sister and left 50 million pounds in his will to the makeup artist who used to cut her brother's hair as she traveled with him yayota pen I Yoto also inherited a large part of his estate. You know, so George Michael left fifty million pounds to his sister, who was a makeup artist. Um, and they were very close together. And um, his other sister Yayota, she got a lot. Also inherited a large part of the estate as well. On. 23rd December, Penayoto had issued a Christmas message alongside her older sister, their father, Jack, and Michael's former manager, David Austin. Yeah, so they, so on December 23rd, they had issued a Christmas message alongside her older sister, their father, Jack, and Michael's former manager, David Austin. <laughs> We have come full circle again, and Christmas time and the holidays are upon us once more, they said. Yeah, so it was a full circle again, and of course, you know, Christmas time and the holidays are upon us once more. This is what they were saying. 
I think we as a family, that our lots of us, we Greek Cypriots were everywhere, have come to fully appreciate, although we already knew really quite how much love there is out there in the world <laughs> for both for Yog, Michael's nickname, and his beautiful music. Yeah, so there was a lot of wonderful things about the family, and of course, um, they also said, I think as we as a family, there are lots of us. We Greek Cyprus were everywhere. And of course, George Michael's had, George Michael had a nickname called Yog. And of course, his beautiful music. We know how much his lyrics can offer support when things are tough and help celebrate when times are good and life is going well. Mm -hmm. And that is just as powerful now as if we, if he were still with us. And as many of you say in your messages, it's a gift. Yes, it is a gift for because George Michael had all that wonderful talent with his singing. And, um, and of course, they also said, we know how much his lyrics can offer support when things are tough and help celebrate when times are good and life is going well. And on top of that, the note ended by telling people not to forget to send messages of love to those closest to them. In last month's edition of The Big Issue, Pan Nai Y'all too talked about the romantic comedy Last Christmas, released in November, which was inspired by Michael's music. Yes, yeah, so they have talked about the movie Last Christmas. Um, It was released last month in November, and it was inspired by Michael's music. Um, and, of course, you know, George Michael wrote the song Last Christmas. My family and I hope you all enjoy the film and Yogg's music, old and new, woven beautifully into this fun, easy tale of love and self-love. As many of you know, Yogg adored Christmas, she said. Yeah, so George Michael did adore Christmas so much. Um, and of course, my family and I hope you all enjoy the film, so this is what they're saying that they hope you enjoy the film Last Christmas. Um, and it's Yogg's music, old and new, woven beautifully into this fun, easy tale of love and self-love. So that's what the movie is about, love and self-love. My condolences are with um, the family. May they find peace in their hearts by God. Leave your comments below. I am out.